Okay, what we're looking at here, 427 cubic inches of Nelson Power, small block Chevy with our mirror image turbos and our billet valve covers, our alien small block intake with 16 injectors, octane on demand. It is pretty rad though that you could have something that got pulling 18 inches of manifold vacuum. Right. You know, I could drive that thing anywhere I want in the country mm -hmm. and crap out a thousand on pump. Right. Tune up, you know. Yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> You know, we say this all the time, but this really is like, it's just a, it's just an amazing thing to be able to have a motor that makes 18 inches of manifold vacuum and, you know, poop out 1,070 horsepower at 15 pounds and then 1,680 horsepower at 36 and with a lot more left, um, you know, we, we came out with this alien five years ago on the small blocks and, and leading up to it was 10 years of, you know, research up to make make this to to where it is and it just gets better every year and this is really it, this is my favorite engine it's a you know uh, I mean it may not be the most powerful but I think it's the sexiest again there's our patented mirror image turbos that took three and a half years just for the patent two years to develop this intake our billet valve covers some of our stainless headers. I mean, it's just a really nice package. You get so much for the money. And it's just gorgeous. I, I love this thing. Okay, I wanna show you, uh, you know, some of the power uh, that's going on in this motor. So there's corrected torque and corrected horsepower. It's 3,500 RPM, 3,600. 4,200 RPM, it's already making 806 foot-pounds of torque. 4,400, 909. 46, 4,800, 1,013 foot-pounds of torque. And 887 horsepower. But it just gets get meaner and meaner. 1,082, 1,146, 1,219, 1,375, 1,445, 1,486. This is still only 5,300 uh, RPM. It's making 1,500 horsepower at 5,300 RPM. Almost 1,500 foot-pounds of torque. In 12. 
sorry about that. 1630, 1650, 1660, 73, 79. And that's on the climb. We started shutting it off at 6100 with a conservative tune-up. Thirty-six pounds of boost. Now that air fuel that you see at fourteen nine—that's a junk number. That, that that air fuel is dead, so I don't want to hear a lot of comments. Oh yeah, yeah. Like we go through the curve, and it's in the elevens. I mean, looking good. It's just such a nice combination. Let's go. To a lower boost level. So here's a pull, 31 pounds of boost, shutting it off early at 5,900, 1,552 horsepower, 1,400 foot pounds. You know, it's just a really solid package. 31 pounds of boost. Again, that air fuel, it's junk. Obviously, we're not running 16 to 1 at 1500 horsepower. Let's do another one here. Twenty-three pounds. 1,314 horsepower, 1,228 foot-pounds of torque, 23 to 24 peak pounds of boost. I mean, and this is a complete street engine. That's, what, that's what's just amazing about this thing. Okay. So we're looking at right here, this is 15 pound boost pull, okay. 900 and 88 foot-pounds, 1,072 horsepower, still climbing at 6,200. You know, it's, it's, it's just such a good combination. I mean, what more do you need in a street motor? I mean, you've got race car power, you've got, you know, 1,680 horse on a conservative, shutting off early, but you can drive it 200 miles in a day and get the street manners of any new car uh, it, it's it's just it's a I'm, I'm proud of the progress and the years of development to be able to sell this package uh, and, and that's why it's one of my favorites